Hey there, my name is Laurie McLean, and I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis at the age of two. Rheumatoid arthritis and, and chronic pain have really shaped me and made me the person that you see sitting before you today. In 2012, my grandma passed away and I was in the room with her, along with my mom. We were there when she took her last breath. It was a life-defining and life-changing moment. My grandma was, and still is, one of my closest, closest friends. I spent countless hours with her. We would talk about everything and anything. I could be open and honest with her. And I always was, I never felt judged. In fact, it was my grandma who I, I first came out to in my family. In actuality, she came to me and said, honey, I know, I know who you are and that's okay. And that made it okay for me. She just really, taught me so much and she continues to teach me to this day so I was in the room when she took her last breath and any doubts I had had previous to that as to whether or not we are more than just a body a mind a heart I always knew that there was a soul I just knew, never doubted it, but I shouldn't say that. There were times, right? When I was like, what is there really more to this than meets the eye? What if this is all we get? One go around, no more. But when Graham took her last breath and what I felt in that room absolutely confirmed for me that we are love, that we are pure, and that we are a soul traveling this life to learn. Moments after she took her last breath, I instinctively looked to the ceiling of the hospital room. And I had this immense relief come over me, this immense feeling of love. I remember I looked at my mom and I said, can you feel that? Can you feel that right now? And I had a big, huge smile on my face. Why was I smiling? One of the most important people in my life had just took her last breath. But I felt her love. I literally felt the warmth. I felt the kindness that was in her. I felt everything that she embodied. I felt it in that room. Whenever I have that, that doubt, I remember that lesson that Graham taught me. And that was that we are spiritual beings having a temporary human experience. We are here to learn this I know for sure. Everything in our life is a lesson. Everything. When I came to this world, it was my soul's decision that I would travel this life with rheumatoid arthritis, but that I would remain happy, hopeful, and whole. Hmm. And it's right now that I feel that I need more than ever to step into that role of being a light sharer, of being a light worker. I am here for a purpose. We are all here for a purpose. We all have a destiny. We all have a reason for incarnating here on earth. When I meditate on it, when I listen and take my focus into my heart, I know we are all here for a reason. We're all here for a reason. I am not physically strong, of course. 
I have a, a disease that has made my body not physically strong. There's a lot that I'm physically restricted from doing. But the one thing I have always had is mental strength, fortitude, emotional strength. I can carry the emotional weight of others. I can take it in and I can alchemize. I can change that into a positive. Take a negative and change it into a positive. I've always been able to do that. Yeah, I get down. Yes, I do. I absolutely will have days of, man, oh man, what's going on in this world? Whew, this is heavy. I can look out my window. I can step into nature. I can sink my feet into the grass. And I can ground myself. And I can come back to who I am and why I believe I am here. I've changed my channel name to Aria Ra, finding joy in pain, because that is my new focus, is to share with you how to find the gratitude and how to find the joy while you live in pain. How to not let the pain lead you. How to not let the pain dominate your world. So that one moment with my ground, that absolutely cemented my awakening. I began really diving into the things that we don't see in this world. Our five senses don't pick up on everything. There is way more going on here than what our five senses allow us to see, touch, feel, hear, taste. So I wanted to sit down and I wanted to talk to you and I wanted to tell you why you're going to see more posts like this. You will. Some of you may not be comfortable with that and that's okay. I will also still have my regular RA Raw content. But I really felt in the last few months that even though I was liking the look of where things were going with this channel, um, I was feeling it get stagnant. I was running out of creative ideas. And my lust for sitting down in front of this camera had somewhat dissipated. But when I focused and thought about where I should go with this, this, this came to mind. I'm going to cut this off for now. I hope you all are having a fantastic, fantastic day, fantastic week. Stay safe, my fellow warriors. There is always hope. Always, always hope. Everybody take care. I'll see you next time.